I said it before and I'll say it again. Life moves pretty fast. You don't stop and look around once in a while. You could miss it. As far back as I can remember, I always wanted to be a gangster. Well, who the hell else are you talking? Are you talking to me? Well, I'm the only one here. You know, Billy? We blew it. You see, in this world, there's two kinds of people, my friend. Those with loaded guns. I got a question. Does Barry Manilow know that you raid his wardrobe? So hang on, I go outside, then I go which way, right or left? You go right, don't you? You can see it from the doorway. It's a big fucking canal. All right, Jesus, I just got here, haven't I? It's 106 miles to Chicago. We got a full tank of gas, half a pack of cigarettes. It's dark, and we're wearing sunglasses. Hit it. The essence of film is, is to make what you want to make and what you want, what you think other people want to see. And whether it's getting a message over or whether it's getting, you know, an idea or um, or, or, or just kind of your love over, it it it, it is important. The first step in the cinema was uh, was it was in, in in countryside, where the cinema was outside, in a, in open air. I think it was in, in a really nice castle actually, and straight away it. it, it Brought to my to my eyes uh, like like a magical scene of the cinema. How, how, how can you find something better than a screen in a in a, in, in a castle yard with with a really nice sound and a beautiful view? Uh, when, I, when, I, when, I, when I was working just in thirty five, like like almost ten years ago, ten years ago, uh, people didn't realize you know the changes of reels and stuff. You know even the dust they didn't realize because. The, the cinema, was, the cinema was like that before. Going back right to the earliest days, the uh, the projector and the camera were actually the same apparatus, and um, people would tend to um, shoot locally, actually process the film that day and show it. So you had travelling showmen who were going around, and then of course you had the invention of cinema places, you know, um, actual cinemas, and then people had to start distributing film to these cinemas and um, that's really when it started to go wrong. Slowly, remarkably slowly actually considering that the, the technology was around, we started to get digital projection which has given the film industry lots of scope in what they do so they've been able to just um, copy their films onto hard drives without any real cost. 35 mm cost cost a lot of money, much more than just um, informatics, you know, like, like digital cinema. So obviously the, the 35 mm that tends to go down a lot, a lot. Digital cinema is a, is a brilliant tool. You can do whatever you want with a digital projector, which is absolutely amazing. I would say that it's just a different machine. I think the general public don't know, frankly. I think that um, if you stood outside of a cinema and said, did you just watch a film or did you just watch a digital projection? the majority of people wouldn't know. If cinema technology is working correctly, then it's invisible. And one shouldn't be able to sit there 
and say that's that kind of lens, that's that kind of technology going on on the screen. You know, you want to be taken away by the narrative. You want to see what's going on in the film. I think they've got it now. When we have a 35 mm they are, they, are, they are coming back to me at the end of the of the screening uh, saying, "Oh, that was a 35 mm I was like, "Yeah." I, I really, I really do, I really do love 35 or 70 mm even 16. We have the chance to have a 16 mm here, and it's absolutely. Uh, I, I love it. I love the grain. I love the sound. I love. I love everything about it. A film director, when they're shooting their film, wants the very best quality available. They may want um, the background out of focus, they may want um, lens flare, those kind of things. But you know, they're never going to want a thumbprint on a, on a negative. They're never going to want the film to break down halfway through. That's not what they're looking for. Cinema film is a language. And I suppose within that language, film, actual 35 mm, 70 millimeter film is kind of an accent on that language. Um, and so the feeling of it, the, um, the feel of film is different from digital. There's no doubt about that. Whether it's better or worse depends entirely on who you are and what kind of history you have with film. I really love 35 mm yeah, for, for the job for the job, for the machine, I'm in love with the machine. We, we even have a 16 millimeter projector in the, in the French Institute, and I've never seen that before in my life. Uh, as projection is because it's pretty, it's pretty rare and pretty old as well. And I remember the first time I've been screening a movie on, the, on, on 16 millimeters, I was, I was like, like a kid, you know, like, like playing with a new toy. Uh, today actually, we have uh, at least once a week 35 because every Sunday we have we have a Sunday classic. There's not a place for instamatic cameras. There's not a place for, uh, for Polaroid cameras. Um, I'm not I'm not convinced that there will always be a place for it because. Um, apart from a, a, a nostalgic point of view. There's not a place for black and white television anymore. There's not a place for the 70 year gramophone record. You know, we do move on. Yeah, I think I'd like to say that nostalgia isn't as good as it used to be. The digital cinema absolutely changed everything. We, we've been uh, we've been using the same, the same process to, to screen movies for 100 years. But it definitely changed the last roughly 10 years. This is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. La vita non è come l'hai vista al cinematografo. La vita 